Aria Fitness, and today we're going to go through a 15-minute yoga and flexibility class. This is part of our Start 2021 Strong Challenge, and this is week number seven. There are eight weeks total. Feel free to participate right now in this class, but also feel free to go back to week number one so you can go through all of the progression of the weeks. All you need is yourself and a mat, and let's go. Standing nice and tall, feet right under your hips. Inhale, arms reach open to the sky and exhale, sigh that out. Inhale, opening, connect at the top, invite a little heart opener here and exhale, forward fold. Shaking out your arms, loosening through your neck. Feeling your hamstrings stretch. Inhale, half lift, flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale, bend your knees, reach out and open. And exhale, chair pose. Inhale, open to the sky and exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold, so hands can touch. Inhale, find your plank. Shoulders right over your wrists, a little movement front to back. Inhale, forward, shoulders pass, and exhale, lower with control, crocodile pose. Inhale, cobra, or you may go upward dog. Shoulders draw down and away from your ears. And exhale, find this child's pose, sending your hips away from your hands and starting to sway your hips side to side. Sending your hips over to the right, reaching your hands to the left. And then sending your hips over to the left, reaching to your right. Finding your way back to your plank. Exhale, feel your triceps as you lower with control. Keep your elbows close. Inhale, cobra or upward dog. Exhale, finding that child's pose. Exhale into your down dog. Start to pedal this out. Inhale your right foot to the air and exhale, drive your right knee to your chest. Step into your lunge. Inhale, open crescent lunge. Keeping a nice bend into that right knee and inviting this lateral stretch. Pulling that left wrist and leaning to your right. On your exhale, open strong warrior two, inviting some shoulder rolls. Keeping your right knee bent, reach forward, flip your palm, and inhale, reverse warrior. Getting your tricep and shoulder stretch. Feeling your whole side lift, huge inhale. Exhale, releasing warrior two. Start to straighten that front leg. Keep a minuscule bend. Hip hinges far forward as you can, dropping your bottom hand, opening into your triangle pose. That front hamstring's really stretching. Bending back into your right knee, gently rest your elbow down into the side angle and circle your top arm around to your extended angle a few times. Feeling that length from your fingertips all the way down to your heel. Pressing back upward, we're gonna clasp fingers together behind your back and on your exhale, allow yourself to bow forward and just let the hands reach as upward as your shoulders allow today. Inhale through your nose, exhale, squeezing your core. We want to let the hands come to your low back and then drop to the floor, letting your left knee come downward. We're into this kneeling lunge and then exhale, draw your hips straight back, find that hamstring stretch. Inhale into your lunge, option to keep hands down or in the air, and exhale into your hamstring stretch. Inhale, focus on your left hip, option to bring hands all the way up, and exhale, focus on your right hamstring. One more time.
holding your hamstring stretch for a moment. And making your way back into this lunge, pressing your left hand down, reaching your right hand into the air, enjoying this twist option to bring your hand around your low back. And it's okay to let your right knee drive outward, just keeping your heel down. Feel the twist come from your core. Option to come onto your forearm as well here. A few more breaths. Releasing into that hamstring stretch for a moment and then finding yourself into your plank, flowing through this chaturanga. Exhale, lower down, crocodile. Inhale, cobra, up dog. And exhale, downward dog. So I'm going to flip the angle just so I'm facing forward. Inhale that left foot and exhale, stepping left heel. Inhale, arms rise, crescent lunge. We're gonna invite this lateral stretch, gentle pull of your right wrist. Exhale, open strong warrior two, some shoulder rolls. Hips right under shoulders. Keeping a nice bent left knee, reaching forward, flip your palm, inhale, reverse warrior, invite your tricep stretch and reach your bottom hand upward to get your shoulder stretch. Nice breath into your side. Coming back to where you choose, start to straighten that left leg, keep a minuscule bend, hip hinge forward and dropping your bottom hand down, opening up into your triangle pose. Core is tight. Sides are in a straight line. A few breaths. Releasing back into warrior two, gently resting that left forearm down, inviting some circles into your extended angle. Pouring the weight into your left heel, coming warrior two, clasping fingers together behind your back, and exhale into your bow. Keep a breath. Letting your hands come to your low back and then frame your foot as you come down into this kneeling lunge. We're gonna take this flow at your pace. Exhale, draw your hips back. They stay parallel between your mat as you get that hamstring stretch upon your right leg. Inhale, focus on your left hip flexor. Option to bring your hands upward. And on your exhale, hamstring stretch. Inhale, lunge. And exhale back and fold. We're going to do one more. Pinning and holding your hamstring stretch. Taking left hand into the air. Option to bring your hand around your back, palm facing away. Inhale through your nose. Exhale, feel your core squeeze. That is your chance to twist a little bit deeper. Letting yourself come out, getting that hamstring stretch for a moment. and finding your chaturanga. Exhale, lower with control. Keep your elbows pinned to your side. Inhale, cobra or upward dog. And exhale, child's pose. Walk, step or hop, finding your forward fold and inhale, open to the sky. We're gonna meet upward to work on our balancing pose. So pour the weight onto your right foot and hold your left ankle to enjoy this quad stretch. 
inviting your dancer pose, finding your focal point out in front, We're going to stay on this right foot, draw your left knee open, and then cross into your pigeon. Just a few more breaths here. Option to sink a little bit deeper into this. Exhale, control yourself up and out. You can roll out your ankle. We want to find our quad stretch to the other side. Holding your right ankle. Finding your focal point, inviting your heart opener into your dancer pose. On your exhale, controlling your right foot and open it into your pigeon. Option to sink a little bit deeper here. You're gonna feel that right hip stretch. Controlling yourself up and out and rolling out your ankle. Finding your way to a staff pose. This is sitting really tall and taking those hands under your shoulders pointing through your toes, taking a huge heart opener breath and lifting into your reverse plank. Big belly breaths here. Option to lift one leg at a time. Exhale, control yourself down, sitting really tall. Drawing your right knee in and then cross it over. Option to invite this twist. You're going to feel that right glute really stretch. Hug that knee close. And finding cradle the baby. A gentle rock and a hug. And then finding this 90 degree bend in your knee. A few breaths pulling that back. We want to find these few stretches on the other side. That left glute is now really stretching here and the option to take your hug and twist. Rocking that left leg, cradle the baby. Hugging that tight and then finding that 90 degree bend. You can hold anywhere along the leg or to the big toe. And meeting with those feet lengthening out, we're gonna get in our boat pose. Really long spine, sit yourself back, lifting one or both feet. And just breathe. yourself down with control, getting your feet hip distance apart upon your mat and heels as close to your hips as you can. We're going to find this bridge pose, lifting your tailbone into the air, a huge belly breath. Option to lift one foot. And then lifting the other foot. Getting your hips really high and roll your spine down. And we want to shift the hips over to the right, draw your right knee into your chest and let that right knee cross over your body towards your left into your nice spinal twist. Eyes are going to turn to your right. Relax your shoulders. Option to straighten that right leg. Take a breath here. Drawing knees to chest, finding your way back onto your back. We want to shift the hips over to the left. Take your left knee in and over to your right, turning your eyes to the left for the spinal twist. And controlling yourself out of this, giving yourself a hug, any final stretch that you want. And 
ultimately finding this comfortable place to lie and rest, lengthening legs out long, lengthening arms out, taking an inhale and exhale, just rest in your Shavasana pose. a breath, inviting a little bit of movement back into your fingers and toes, rolling to your right side for a breath, finding your way up to a comfortable seat to end your practice. The light and love in me honors the light and love in you. Namaste. Remember to like and subscribe and share this class. Leave a comment, let me know what you think and how this practice felt for your body today. And remember, there's only one week left of our Start 2021 Strong Challenge. So make sure that you check those videos out Thursday and Sunday at 9 a.m. so we can end 2020 on a high note and start 2021 strong together. Have a great one, guys. Bye.